we've got some inventor assembly enhancements to go through. Just a couple. There's not too much in the uh, just as, as general assembly uh, enhancements in Inventor 7, 2017. A couple of things. A couple of things, and some actually good ones. Small but hard hitting, I'd say. The first one we've got is component transparency. In the past, if you wanted to make a component transparent, I think you had to disable it just off memory. I think you had to go to it, right click on it, and then uh, go to component is disabled. Which is that even still a thing here? Yeah. And, Turn that off. Oh, that's, that's probably not a good one because I don't know where it is. Uh, enabled. Yeah, so you can see that's disabled and it's gone transparent, but the fact that it's disabled screws it up across the rest of what you're trying to do in terms of drones and builds materials and whatnot. It's disabled, of course, goddammit, so that's no good to anybody. So what we've got now is the ability to make a component just properly transparent without having to make it a, a transparent texture like glass or just the you know the clear texture. So we can go to a component. Let's go to one of these uh, these pedal arms. Right click on it. Right cl right click on it. Yeah, you, you don't want to right click on it. That's not going to get you very far. Right click on it, and then you've got this this new option on the right click menu called transparent. Pretty simple, straightforward, pretty obvious. Give it a click, and your component goes transparent. And then you can see the internals. You might just be doing that temporarily. This might be a reference part that you've brought in. It might be a customer model. It might be construction geometry. Who knows what it is? It might just be that you just need to make it transparent because you want to see what's inside. You might want to see what's behind. There might be a whole load of reasons why you're making it transparent. Each case is different. But that option is now there and available. And you can see the component that's went transparent in the browser. It's not massively obvious, but the, the icon has went a little bit brighter. Or a little bit you know more faded so that's the component there which is transparent right click on it untick transparency and then there you go there so it's back to normal so that's the new transparent toggle in inventor 2017 right another thing that they've, that they've done in 2017 in assemblies is they've made working with adaptivity just a little bit easier they've give you a couple of more tools just to help you understand how adaptivity works and allow you to track where adaptivities come from because that's one of the big problems a lot of drone officers are just flat out stopping their people stopping their users from actually even putting adaptivity into their assemblies you're not allowed to do projecting geometry across parts you're not allowed to have any adaptive sketches any adaptive features it's just completely un it's just disallowed completely because of the problems that people get into with adaptivity so to counteract that autodesk give us a couple of extra tools so let's let's create a new part in the assembly right let's make this called uh, i don't know base plate base plate uh, break something i don't know whatever and then we'll click OK. We'll drop this part on the bottom and uh, we'll start putting some adaptivity in. So we'll create a sketch on the bottom face there and then project, right? So this is where the adaptivity comes in. So we're going to project this bottom face through from the other part in the assembly. There's the adaptivity created. Finish that sketch. And what we've got now in the browser tree for this part is expand the sketch and you've got this new reference node here. So this reference node shows you that there is projected adaptive entities inside this part i mean you've got the adaptive circle there but it's now showing you what it actually is here so you can click that and you can say all oh, right that's it there that's there's the adaptivity and even better than that even better is you can right click on that and you can say uh, open references and it'll actually open the part that the adaptivity's come from that's amazing that really is amazing open references there you go that's where the that's where the, the sketch was projected from that's so good it's just such a little change it's so minor it seems so insignificant but that is colossally useful so useful well done autodesk that is brilliant what's not brilliant we <laughs> Well, it's not brilliant, and I think it was a bit of an afterthought. Is they've tried their well, I don't think I wouldn't say they've tried the hardest. That's maybe giving them a bit too much credit, but they've tried to differentiate the different types of adaptivity via the icon, right? So <laughs> they've, they've, um, this icon here, right? It's got it's like a bit of it's like a work plane, and then they've, in red they've tried to highlight the type of object that's been made adaptive. <laughs> and and what I'm just going to do is drag you drag up the the help document here. All right, so the source dependency, right, which is the, the the adaptive link, is illustrated by the following icons. If it's an edge, you've got a tiny icon that big with just one line in red. <laughs> you've got a face with all the lines in red. Or if it's a loop, I mean, really, on an icon that size, I've got 20-20 vision, and I am not seeing the difference between these three icons at that type of icon size. It's not happening. But <laughs> they've, tr they've tried. Bless them. They've tried. They've tried. So, uh that's a thing. That's a thing. So that's that's new. It's it's there. If you know if you want to 
use it by all means try and use it but uh that's that's what's new in the assembly uh, environment in inventor 2017 so we've got component transparency toggle and we've got some adaptivity enhancements but just uh, just to uh, reaffirm project anything through into a new part from an assembly and then you get this new reference node here where you can view visibly see what's adaptive and then you can right click on that node and then you can open the reference uh, the source reference for the adaptivity straight from that node which is extraordinarily useful well done autodesk again well done all right that's pretty much it for this video thank you very much if you like that press like subscribe you know all that sort of stuff <laughs> you know what to do at the end of every youtube video and i'll see you in the next one toodles